Okay. Good evening. I'm here at a school called Swavesy Village College, which is just out north of Cambridge. And I've been invited here this evening to help lead and run, under the umbrella of EXA Foundation, a family hack jam. And tonight we're using a tool that you may have heard of before called Twine that allows people to build interactive text-based adventures. Tonight the theme is loosely connected to online internet safety. So families have come here, I think we've probably got about 90 people that have come, mums, sons, dads and daughters. They're all working together to design and build a non-linear narrative, a story, <laughs> a story where the player or the reader gets to make certain choices and some choices on the internet are good and some are bad and you might be rewarded with good consequences. So let's go in and have an explore. So we're going to go into one of the rooms of the two. We're having a little bit of a wander around and maybe we'll just have a look at some of the things on the screen. Has anybody got a story that we could just look at for a moment? I mean, we can see, oh, we'll come to yours. Look at that map. Look at all these different choices that we've got in there. Have you clicked on the play button yet to show people what it looks like at the beginning? So you're being chased by a monster. Do you run or hide? Let's go and visit another so, team. So, 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 so we've got we've got some very responsible adults <laughs> with some very clever younger people as well going on. I think this team are working in a very harmonious way. Have you got a driver in your team at the moment? I use Spang. You have a driver. You've got a navigator. Yeah, we have two navigators. Two navigators. You can never have too many navigators, but too many drivers. So I've got another team here. We've met before, haven't we? At a young coders conference at Tate Modern. Yeah, I remember you two were building stuff, lessons, teaching things with a micro bit. Oh, you brought some necessary supplies, I see. Yeah. Uh, we'll wander up this way a little bit. Somebody wants to show us something yeah. here? Is it possible like a yeah. swivel and you could tell us a little bit? Yeah, you know, we won't be able to see all this story, but if you could tell us a little bit of the highlights. So it's about, um, we've got a new computer, but the floating of it is always, there's so, choking out the window. So you see, you just, oh well done, you just wasted £550, you have to buy a new one. So if you turn it on, then click frog. So you're not encouraging people to throw computers out the window? <laughs> no. Especially not, because we're on the first floor, that would be really dangerous. Yeah. Sounds like you're having fun. Um, yeah. Does your story have any lessons or for people to learn um, from in it? Um, yes, it tells you not to click on random adverts. Ah, okay. And be careful when you turn your net up. All right, <laughs> okay. So you never know what might happen. Yeah. And, uh, does your t does your story have a particular message um, that you do? Yeah. Love? It's basically saying. Um, that if a link comes up, it's not always the best idea to click on it. So is it like think before you link or something? Okay, cool. Yeah, very good. Good rhyming. So we'll go to the other team, the other room. Now we have biscuits. And oh, it's all very civilised. We've got cups of tea, English breakfast tea, of course. There's a bit of a rug. We have another room down here. And oh, it's Mr. Asprey. Uh, uh, Mr. Surname, I think. Williams. <laughs> Mr. Williams. Yeah. This is the other room. This is the other half. We're going to go for a wonder. Um, how is this team working? Quite harmoniously at the moment. There seems to be a lot of people involved in this team. <laughs> ah, so you've got some very clever tags going on. Let's have a look up here. Whoa! This looks like the London Underground system. We've got lots of different choices. What's the point of this story? Um. It's supposed to like teach you about hacking. I hope it's good hacking. Um, has she been behaving herself tonight? I hope she has. <laughs> Not be coming up with like lots of stupid ideas or things like that. No. Very good. Um, oh, biscuits. Um, what else? Let's have a look over here. We have one teacher who's joined us that's travelled from okay. it? Really good. Fountain. Where have you travelled from today? Venezuela. Venezuela. Gosh, I had to look that up on a map to see where it was. Near Caracas. Can I ask this team, how's your interactive text-based adventure story development going? Uh, yeah, we've got lots of variables. Lots of variables, like the weather and things like that? Or uh, yeah. where do you think you place? Okay. So you've got values that can change in your story. Yeah. I've not seen anybody do that yet. Have you had anybody spies come to visit you? Uh, yeah. Did you send them away? Let's have a quick look. 
password That's or Benjamin. Benjamin. And they both lead back. Yeah, neither one works. So it takes you back to the beginning, yeah. okay. Or, or you can turn off the computer. If you open, open the cupboard, and then a pile of rust falls on the floor. Yeah, whatever. So ultimately, and then, and then, what are you wanting people to end up at? And then you turn the computer again, and there's another option. Ah, it wasn't there before. Right. Nifty. And then, the, and then there's a weird, there's a cool thing. Oh! It changed. It did. Very nice. So you, you were already able to do all this before you came here tonight? Um, he was, and... <laughs> Great. So let's let's come out of this room. So the next thing that will happen that won't be clear from watching this video is in, in a few moments we're going to go into like a marketplace activity where each team is going to position one person to stay behind so they can demonstrate their story and other teams are going to go around and experiment and try the stories and give some feedback. Um, I think it's been a fairly successful event and there was no way I expected that 90 people were going to sign up for this event. I thought it might be 12, 15 or something like that. There's a lot, a good mix of ages and I'm hoping that some of those people who are here tonight might be thinking about STEM choices in the future. Thank you very much.